Alright guys, so today we're going to do something a little different right here. Yeah. It's that secret nature vape. I'm telling you guys, if you get a chance, if you're trying to quit smoking weed or, you know, you think that it's something that will help alleviate your want or need for black market flour, right here it is. Secret nature. They have got to be one of the very best cannabis type, CBD type vapes out there on the market. If you run across them at your vape store, your cannabis dispensary, definitely pick one up. They're awesome. This one's the White Fire OG. Uh, went over to the Cannabis Dispensary in Carrboro, North Carolina, and um, they hooked me up on a good deal because they didn't have any over the weekend when we went. And um, yeah, dude, that thing is just straight weed. It tastes like if you was to take the stalks and the stems and stuff and put it into a blender and just like taste the inside of that it's what it tastes like to me I don't know I used to sit around and when I used to sell this shit like take the stems and chew on them shits that's what this tastes like and it says to draw like two to four seconds for desired effects where I could I did this whole thing blinker it every damn time so smooth none of the harshness whatsoever it's only cannabis oils no VG PG shit none of that straight gas I don't know what white fire OG is actually the strain of or whatever but this is good it's THCA. I don't know what percentage it is. All them lab results and all that stuff. Y'all can look that shit up. <laughs> FDA still ain't approving shit. So, <laughs> but THCA, I'd feel like that's where it's at. Uh, I've watched enough reviews, hear people say, you know, the THCA, when you vape it, and it turns it to the actual THC Delta 9 that hits your receptors the right way to get you high like I can't even describe the taste it's just wheat it literally doesn't have any other flavor it is just weed it's beautiful I never thought this shit exist in my lifetime I'm 47 I've been smoking since I'm 16 this is the most pure example of being able to smoke weed right in motherfucking public without having any issues whatsoever. No law, no hassle from nobody. I walk right up in motherfucking Walmart right now and smoke this shit right in front of the manager and not give zero fucks, I promise you. I mean, if they want to let you out because you're vaping in the store and all that, like, yeah, they would do the same thing if it was nicotine vape. But you couldn't tell unless you just look at this and see the actual packaging has the herb on it. You can't tell whatsoever that I'm smoking weed right now. But one last rip. It's a little something different on the channel. I'm usually singing and screaming on my dumb shit at work because I'm stuck in a box like a rat in a cage. Like fucking bullshit. Ain't even got windows to look out that bitch. Even if it was light outside. So in order to keep my mind from losing it completely, sing along with songs, post them on the internet. I do it in hopes that one day maybe my kids will think I'm cool enough to watch that shit <laughs> they'll like that shit I don't know I used to sing for a band for like 10 years so I still want to do that but it's not worth going and doing it 
playing shows and shit. It's the worst second job you'll ever have with the absolute shittiest boss you'll ever conceive of. Every bar owner is... I mean, not. Take that back. Not every bar owner. Some bar owners that used to be musicians, like Tom at the Blue Parrot in Charleston, West Virginia, that motherfucker was cool as ice water. He used to be a musician. Still, maybe, I don't know. Still play every now and again. I'm sure he picks around at his house. But, uh, definitely one of the coolest mofos. But most bar owners are absolute assholes. Have fucking no type of idea what type of work you done put in for a little bit of hundred dollars between the split between five guys anyhow this shit's fire get that shit if you get a chance secret nature this is the third one between me and my wife that we've had a banana poison and a frozen colada and now this white fire OG. I would definitely say that the uh, frozen colada was the best tasting one. Uh, the poison banana straight straight tastes like sativa weed, man. This one is like a hybrid, I think, or something. I don't know. Again, you can probably find that shit out on the internet. But uh, <laughs> anyway, if you made it to this part, thank you guys. I can't believe anybody would watch my dumbass period. But uh, it's fun to just post that shit on the internet and then see that anybody would ever even like or comment or anything. So anyway, Secret Nature, White Fire OG, shit is diesel, shit is fire, all them, all them terms that the youngins be saying. <laughs> Alright, appreciate y'all.